Ancient summoning requires level 68 archaeology to unlock and allows the player to bind all sorts of demons to a summoning-like pouch. It can be unlocked after the Dagon Bai mystery in the Zamorakian Warforge. Assuming you have a binding contract in your invent, any time a relevant demon is killed, a pouch will be created of that kind. I have tried out all of the familiars at this point, but in this video, we will be focusing on the Ripper Demon. The Ripper Demon deals significant damage with his auto attacks and special move scroll, but also has a special effect. To boost the player's damage, the lower their opponent's HP is. Even without the damage boosting of the player's attacks, I found the Ripper Demon to deal 25,000 damage per minute without scrolls and up to 100,000 damage every minute with them. To put that into perspective, the Ripper Demon Familiar by itself has a 500,000 damage 5 minute gem and can kill Vindicta in 2 minutes by itself. Here are some highlights from testing. Note, I am also using the Darox Relic in these clips. It grants up to 5.5% increased damage the lower your HP is, and it's pretty good. But it's not Ripper Demon good, so we'll save it for another video. My personal record at Vindicta with the Darok Relic and a Steel Titan was 29 seconds, and this was only a few attempts after buying what may have been the first Ripper Demon pouch in the entire game. As you can see, 29 second kill time, out of the water. You'll notice my damage toward the end of the kill is absolutely insane, especially when you consider I'm not Berserked or an Azaros Godsword special here. There's nothing boosting my damage except for the Ripper Demon. After that, I went to Telos. I managed a 14 second phase 1 at 100% in rage, which is absolutely ridiculous. My only threshold used was Assault, and it phased before I could use Destroy or Hurricane. I broke my personal record here with a time of 3 minutes and 34 seconds, 16 full seconds faster than my previous best, and this could be greatly improved if I'd gone for more than an hour. On phase 4, when Telos's HP is the lowest, you'll notice my damage is absolutely ridiculous. Next up, Cash and I went to Solak. We decided to both melee camp, even though hybriding is generally considered better, and on phase 1 we managed to completely skip the personal roots and both blight bombs. That means we got Solak to the phase HP before he was able to start those mechanics. When it came to the blight core, we finished it in one cycle despite not having optimal rotations. We both missed several flanks, and I didn't switch my Zaros Godsword a single time for Cleave either. To put it simply, the one cycle core is significantly easier than it was before, and if you're someone who fell short by 20 or 30,000 damage frequently, those should all be one cycle cores with this familiar. Over phases 2 and 3, damage was significantly better as well, and we had faster phase times than we'd ever had before. On phase 4, with Solak being on a very low life points percentage, our damage output was unmatched. Throughout the fight, we didn't even bother stacking storm shards, as there was no need to shatter. We no realm the boss with ease, and this familiar is strong enough that it could be done without melee as well. Overall, I don't know how I feel about this. On one hand, it closes the skill gap significantly and makes most DPS checks in game significantly more accessible simply by bringing this familiar along. On the other hand, seeing a familiar do this much damage and having this significant of an impact seems slightly over the top. Whatever happens, I just hope the Elder God Wars bosses are hard enough that this makes sense.